skipping the whole intro thing this time. Somebody's here. Hi. So I don't think I have time for nail art tonight because honestly, my sister and my brother-in-law are in town and they're probably on their way here from the hotel. So I was just going to paint my nails. Um, this is Sweet and Gracious by Olive and June. Does anyone else put their thumb on the edge of the table to paint it? <laughs> Hi, Doomed! Welcome! Glad to see you. I don't think I'm going to have time to do nail art tonight, but at least I can hang out with nail people while I paint my nails. <laughs> so like I said, my sister's in town. Um, my brother-in-law is an over-the-road trucker, and he had something he had to do at his home base, which is um, outside of town here somewhere. So since they were already in my state, they decided to stop for a little quick visit. So far, it's been a big bust. Um, we were going to go down to the Cinco de Mayo celebration down in the uh, Hispanic area of town. And, you know, it was booming. It was a lot more expensive than I remember from previous years. Like all the street food was like way overpriced and um, like every booth was very expensive margaritas and fancy stuff so um and neither of them drink i'm the only one who drank <laughs> and then they were supposed to see a parade and my husband was marching in the parade he had driven himself earlier in the day and it ended up like we weren't even on the parade route we thought we were but if we had stayed where we were we wouldn't have seen the parade anyway but then my youngest daughter has uh, type 1 diabetes, and she had her uh, pod controller in her back pocket, and she sat on it and totally crunched up the screen. So It was sort of a... Everyone was very stressed out. So... We ended up heading home after that fun thing happened. And then we get back to my house and she says, oh, hey, mom, look at this. She, a couple days ago, the cat had scratched her face, like right between her eyes, like right on her eyebrow, like right here. And so she's been wearing a Band-Aid over it for the past two days. She calls me in the bathroom, having taken off the band-aid, and said, something looks wrong. It's totally infected. We're like, well, it's Saturday afternoon. A 
Let's see if we put some Neosporin on it, if it looks any better. So we put some Neosporin on it. It didn't look much better several hours later, so uh, my husband ended up <laughs> leaving to go take her to the urgent care that's still open. There's one urgent care nearby that's open till 8, six days of the week. I don't think they're open on Sundays. And uh, so they are there. Haven't gotten any updates, so hopefully that'll be fine. I'm assuming she'll just need an antibiotic, but it was like, it, it was looking pretty bad so hopefully she doesn't get any like there, there are weird like cat diseases like cat scratch fever is actually a thing <laughs> it usually develops like a week after you get a cat scratch like if your cat scratch heals and you're like oh i'm fine but then like your lymph nodes and everything swell up you might have cat scratch fever So this is my pick for um, that Swatch Fest thing for Polished Opinions on Instagram. Um, this is for week three of May. I like to work in advance on these things so I don't have to. Um, well, she's 12. She says she washed it. It's quite possible she tossed a bandaid on it and that was it. Um, you know, because she didn't like, she told us it happened, and so I said, did you wash it? Did you put some Neosporin on it? And, uh, oh yes, I did. I washed it. <laughs> so, probably didn't wash it. That's my guess. <laughs> so this will probably be her first time on antibiotics being diabetic. And hopefully that won't be any issue. I don't know. We're, we're still pretty new to the diabetes thing. Like, it's only been, it's been less than a year. Figure out how to put my earphones. No? Okay. Ugh. And that's been a learning curve, but I'm, I'm glad like she was in sixth grade when she was diagnosed because, you know, she's pretty self-sufficient and has been able to learn how to do everything and take care of things herself. So, but, you know, there's going to be times where she's going to need help from mom and dad every now and then still. Maybe she's watching. There's two viewers now. Yay! <laughs> so I think I'm going to put a third coat on this because it's still, it's kind of patchy. But it's like such a great, um, I don't know, kind of an orange juice -y orange. So these Olive and Junes I got at Goodwill. There was like a box of 80 of them. I didn't know how many were in the box, but they just said this many pounds of nail polish. And I think I ended up buying it for like, I don't know, it was close to $80. So it ended up being about a dollar a bottle. And there were some duplicates, but that's okay. I just gave them to my friends. let my work friends go through them and have themselves a, a nail polish haul day. It was such a good find. It had a lot of fun colors in it. And I didn't have a single Olive and June until then. I just saw they just were marketing in our Walgreens. There's a new Olive and June display at my Walgreens, so. Ooh, I got my Glisten and Glow also. Hi, Beauty Sojourn. Nice to see you. Yeah, this is a gorgeous color. Do you see what it was? It's called um, Sweet and Gracious. Let's see if it'll focus. 
Yay, Sweet and Gracious by Olive and June. Yeah, it's a pretty color. And it's, you know, it's different enough that, like, you know you're going to get 100 compliments on a color like this. So my toes are uh, a, like a mustard yellow right now. Just, if I can find it. I ended up putting this on my toenails yesterday and all the nail ladies at the nail salon were like, Ooh, we love your color. Woo. Um, so this is H and M saffron. And I just found this at a Burlington coat factory. Um, a couple people had been posting that they'd been finding really cool, uh, nail polish at Burlington coat factory. And I was like, I have never gone to Burlington coat factory for anything other than coats. So, <laughs> So I went and I explored and actually walked through the store to see like what kind of stuff it had. And they had not very much in the way of nail polish, but they did have a couple H&Ms, which I'd been always curious about this brand. Um, Variety Varnish on uh, YouTube loves this brand. Um, and she, when she was still posting more, she would, you've got a couple? Awesome. I guess they don't even sell them in the stores. Is that correct? They just sell them online. Just too bad. Because I have an H&M here in town. But, you know, I've, I've heard that the nail polishes are never there. So. You're still waiting for your Glisten and Glow order? Well, you are in Canada, right? So it'll be a while. <laughs> so I got Mountain Dew Mocktail and this one called Kurt. Just... I don't know. It was on clearance. And it just looked cute. Oh, a long time ago they used to have them at the store? That's cool. Well, it was a really great cream. Like, it was definitely a, a good two-coater for a yellow. It'll probably last on my toes forever. So Mountain Dew Mocktail is... Uh, Neon green with uh, glitter from June 2020's Polish Pickup, which I kind of think is going to be the uh, Fanaticure official color. <laughs> she, she suggested we all buy it, and so we all bought it. And then this is the clearance one I picked up. Uh, Kurt from the, the 27 Club Gone Too Soon collection. Oh, so Kurt Cobain. Okay. So, I'm guessing Famous People Who Died Too Young collection. <laughs> we are sheep. <laughs> well, and honestly, I can't say that I have a color like this. It will definitely be good for like Halloween and stuff. I can see wearing it then. And of course, I got a top coat also. Glisten and Glow top coat was one that I tried when I first got into nail polish in 2019. And I didn't know about nail polish thinner because I was that new. But uh, now I know about nail polish thinner, so my experience with this will probably be better. Last time it got really stringy on me, and I think I ended up tossing it about halfway through because I had discovered other indie top coats at that point. But. I am giving it another go because I have thinner now and I don't feel weird about thinning my top coats because I do it all the time. <laughs> so let's see, should I put the same color? Yeah, let me top coat before I go any further because I will mess up my nails. So if we have company crashing my house, I'll apologize in advance. I also got a uh, order from She Modern, and she always throws extra things in when you order, and she sent some new pigments that I hadn't had any of yet. 
I'll show you guys those in a second. If I have time, I could even demonstrate them. What? So she, they sell their pigments in these little bottles with like a, um, they have a little dropper bottle. Did I order from PPU this month? I did. Um, <laughs> I went through my wish list and was really strict and checked, compared things on my, in my collection to what I was wanting to buy. And, um, I ended up only getting one nail polish and then of course, you know, like a lotion and a cuticle cream because those I go through a lot. So I ended up getting the Dreamland, Dreamland lacquers. Oh gosh, what was it called? I don't know. The green with the blue shimmer. Yeah, I spent less than $40, which is pretty cheap for me. So I was feeling pretty pretty proud of myself <laughs> but then I went and ordered some more from she modern and that added up to my usual polish pickup uh, allowance your flat broke until Friday yeah so we we've had the joy of adjusting at our household to my husband just got a job at a, a school and I guess they only pay once a month when it's a school and that's just been a weird adjustment for me. I'm the one who pays the bills and I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't dip into that until he doesn't get refilled until the end of the month. Ooh. <laughs> Shipping is 20 bucks up to Canada. Oh yeah, that sucks. Has it always been that expensive to ship to Canada? Didn't they used to have like a, um, a flat shipping rate to Canada too? I feel like when I first started shopping Polish Pickup, the Canada shipping was like 10 or something. And then US was the flat $3, which was awesome. But now it doesn't ever seem to be a flat $3 anymore. I think I paid $6 for shipping. Someone else in the group, I don't know if you saw, was saying they were charged $12 for shipping, which is weird for being in the United States. So. I'm thinking they're having some issues with their store. <laughs> Too complicated for the website, you know, Shopify or whatever they use to handle. Ugh. Anyway, I was going to say uh, She Modern does their pigments in these cute little bottles, which are great because then you can't like accidentally spill a whole thing of pigment. It's been expensive since you started buying from PPU. Yeah, it is an expensive hobby, that's for sure. And it's so addicting. Like they've got that down to a science, the uh the sneak peeks like a week after the sale. And then, you know, little hints here and there. And then oh, wish listing. Woo! And then we're all hyped up for uh hyped up for the sale on Friday. Yeah. They 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 know how to how to work our our interest. Shopify laid off, off a bunch of people. Yeah, I could. it seems like a lot of those tech company startup sort of things are doing that, which is unfortunate, but they're going to lose business if they can't maintain the service. So hopefully they didn't lay off the people who actually keep it running. <laughs> if they're just laying off like a bunch of salespeople, you know, I guess that's okay. But if they're laying off the the IT guys who actually keep the, the software doing what it's supposed to be doing, that would suck. All right. Should I paint my Cindy hand too? Since my sister's not here yet. <laughs> I'll actually have matching hands, you guys. Just because I love this color, so I need it on both hands.
So I uploaded my old Twitch streams to YouTube today. I think a couple YouTubers followed me, so that's exciting. Hi, Punch! Welcome! Beauty Sojourn, do you, um, stream or video or post anywhere else? All right, somebody's home. It is my sister. Hello. I'm streaming. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Have a nice nap. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't have much sleep last night. So why did you stay up all night? Were you driving then? No, my shoulder. Oh. Jeff. Poor Jeff has a bum shoulder and a bum hip. And that makes sleeping uncomfortable. <laughs> so what's up, Punch Buggy? Oh, is hold on to your plants? Oh, hi, hold on to your plants. I missed you sneaking in here. Welcome, welcome. I am literally just painting my nails and chatting because... I have family in town, so I don't have a, a full hour that I normally would devote to this. <laughs> Do you want to say hi on stream? Nope. Aw. <laughs> so you don't get to meet my sister, everybody. Sorry. It is a large lamb. It folds up into like a pillow shape. Let's see. You were just taking polish off to put more polish on. That sounds like most evenings for me. Hold on to your plants. Um, I'm a little behind my usual schedule because um, with Star Wars Day, May the 4th, be with you and all that, uh, we ended up watching more TV in the evenings with the family. We're working our way through that new Mandalorian season. We are up to the finale. But then my daughter's at a older daughter is at a sleep overnight. My younger daughter's at the urgent care. <sighs> so we're not gonna watch that tonight. Hopefully we're gonna watch something else. <laughs> Ooh, you're about to do a gel fill. That's exciting. So I just do the I do gel now under my regular nails, but I just do the soft gel. Um I use uh The Jellish Foundation Flex to so just give myself a nice base. But it comes off so easy um, because I use a peel off gel base coat, um, which does not peel off. I wouldn't actually peel this off without using acetone, but it dissolves in acetone like super quick. So, uh... oh, now I did ding it. Darn it. Um, Let's see if I can get it to focus. Ooh, I can fix that right up though. Um, it seems to be working pretty well on my nails. It's definitely better than using nothing at all. Yeah. Yeah. She's listening to my live stream. <laughs> um. Because my nails would always break. So, the, I mean, 
This is amazing that I've been able to get my nails to grow out this far and not break them. My right hand, I've been getting some breaks. This one actually has a little tiny break that's trying to start, but I'm going to try to coax it along. You're seeing the new Guardians tomorrow. That was our thought if um, we were all together that we would go see that. But, like I said, we've all had to go our various ways. We figured my older daughter, who's at the sleepover, is going to want to see um, the Guardians of the Galaxy also. So. Oh, the urgent care visit? Yeah, she, she's going to be okay. She got a cat scratch on her eyebrow, like right between her eyes, and um, it got infected. We didn't know it was infected for two days until she took off her band-aid today and said, Hey, Mom, something's wrong with this. <laughs> she has this huge red circle right between her eyes. Uh, so I'm sure they're going to give her some antibiotics and send her on her way, hopefully. Did a big file down. Yeah. I usually just do a little bit of filing when I reapply the gel base to smooth it all off. Use the hard gel. So you just do fills. See, fills seem scary to me for some reason. Once a year, you take it off. That's fascinating. Oh, I totally just flooded my cuticles. Ugh. Painting with my left hand is hard. How, how what, beauty? Oh, gel in general is scary to you. Hold on to your plants. See, I, at my little cheap nail salon where gel would, they'd always use an e-file to remove it and they'd always gouge my nail You know, I just don't think they s take a lot of time to be careful. Yeah, the allergy possibilities are terrifying. My 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 local friend uh, Becca just sent me a TikTok about this poor woman that ended up developing a gel allergy and everything that. I just love that they're vacuuming upstairs. I hope nobody can hear that. <laughs> Yeah, my texts were not careful, and uh, I feel like when I do it myself, you know, at least with the gel, just normal gel, yeah. I'm, I'm good enough at painting my nails now that, one, I even notice if I happen to touch skin. So I clean it up immediately. Hey, uh, Tom? Tom? Sorry for the vacuuming again. Anyway, um, you've been doing your own since the pandemic, pandemic started. Yeah, I, and I think that's what a lot of people did, but hopefully, hopefully you're a good nail user and don't get it on your skin and stuff. Cause you, I have a friend who paints her nails and she's of the school that you just slather it on and then you take a shower and you can just rub off what got on your cuticles, but you can't do that with gel. The issues with the UV lights. Are you talking about like people having those cheap lights on that they buy on Amazon?
So I've got one of these little, let me get it out here. I do have one of these little itty bitty bendy ones, but I only use that for um, doing a quick cure to keep things from moving. And then I'll do a full cure in the proper lamp. Used to work in dermatology. Oh, UV in general. Yeah. You figure some of these newbies, you know, the DIYers from the pandemic. Yeah, they're, I mean, it's, I think why it's such an issue and, you know, people are talking about it on TikTok because so many people have developed an allergy if they're just smearing gel all over their skin <laughs> and thinking it'll be okay. Then suddenly they develop an allergy. It just sounds like a terrible allergy, so I am super duper careful if I get anything on my skin at all i stop everything i get out you know my little i use one of these covered with uh cotton and clean it up with um alcohol rubbing alcohol <laughs> yeah I don't want to mess with that. I've got too many fillings in my teeth. <laughs> if I if I got allergic to acrylates, that would be really, really bad. <laughs> so, yep, I have painted my nails. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because, like I said, my family is here from out of town. But now I have pretty orange nails. You will see these on my Instagram. Uh in like two weeks unfortunately um oh thanks for following i'll be doing more nail art next time i go live uh because that's usually what i plan to do on this is do nail art and i just love that you can go live on twitch and it's not a big deal <laughs> it is a really cute orange so yeah this will be part of uh polished opinions swatch fest for may so if you don't follow Polished Opinions, you should, because she does a million collabs. And she started just a, a color matching one, which is fun for those of us who have gigantic nail polish collections to play. Play along and find our matching colors. Yeah. This is a super, yeah, marigold is a good way to describe this. I think comparing what in real life what I see on the screen, it looks more orange in real life. But it's a beautiful light orange. It's perfect for spring or summer. So, and it would be useful for Halloween stuff too. So, I'm glad I have it. Thanks, Olive and June, for having huge boxes for sale at Goodwill. <laughs> so, all right. You just did it with the new Hollow Taco and the old CG. Cover Girl? No. China glaze. <laughs> I'll figure this out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks. So much. Sometimes it just doesn't come to me. <laughs> I've got pressure, you know. <laughs> I'm live on Twitch. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, thanks for hanging out. I hope to see you again shortly. I might go live again uh, probably tomorrow to do some nail art on this maybe play with these new pigments. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about them. So this is a pink pigment that glows orange in the dark. This one is, and the other three are thermals. This one's the yellow to red thermal. And this is blue to clear, and then a black to clear, which will be really fun with nail art. I look forward to playing with those. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you. You caught me too, plants. Woo! <laughs> so she sent also, what is this? This is a, a 
a watercolor that is also thermal. It's got terrible ugly bottle syndrome, so I'll have to mix it up real good. Um, but it's supposed to go white to violet thermal. I've never used these. I don't know how long they last. I'm going to keep them in my fridge with the rest of my thermals. Uh, but yeah, I look, uh, I look forward to trying it. I won't keep the glow in the dark in the fridge, but all the thermals. I am a religious thermal refrigerator. <laughs> it, all, none of my thermals have died since I've been collecting nail polish. So I, I feel like that's a good, a good endorsement for using the fridge. All right. So have a great night, everybody. Uh, I will see you around. Bye-bye.